We have made it to Sentosa Island after grabbing a quick breakfast at the hotel, which was included in our stay. Just real simple, fried rice with curry, a few fish balls, some fruit, boiled egg, kind of standard Asian fare. And then we took the train over to Vivo City Mall. And at Vivo City Mall, we got on to the cable car, came over to Sentosa, and now we're about to get onto the Santosa cable car and go to Siloso uh, Point, I believe. We'll then go walk around the fort a little bit and come back and probably do this Skyline Luge like I did in uh, Korea. It's been pretty good. The ride over here was a little warm. The cable cars are not air conditioned or anything, so you do need to open all the windows in order for it to be uh, get a breeze. It's quite warm otherwise. Mom was super sweating the entire way, so it was difficult for her. I thought it was fine. I didn't think anything of it. It was just another cable car ride that I've taken in Asia now. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, figure out what to do next and we'll check back in a moment. All right, so oh, it is a beautiful day. I've been walking through the Fort Soloso Museum area, I guess you could say. Maybe a heritage area is the better way to put it. There is a ginormous fort here that once we got off of the second gondola ride that we rode, the Mount something to Solosa Fort, we got off at the Solosa Fort and came to the other side of it. I actually have no idea what it's called. This is Solosa Fort right here. And we've been walking around. It's uh, It's been amazing. Like it starts off by we, t we took a uh, elevator up to a skywalk that was free and then walked the skywalk all the way over to the kind of end of the Fort Solosa Heritage Center area. And the reason was, was because the main place that we need to go to is actually right here. The surrender chambers. I don't know if that'll come into focus. Nope, it's not coming into focus. But it's the surrender chambers, which is at the bottom of the hill. But I didn't want mom to have to walk all the way up this hill. So we just took the elevator up and then walked the skywalk over so that we were at the top of the mountain. And now we're walking down the mountain, which I think that's the best way to do it and all throughout they have all these complex tunnel systems to where you could go see how things were all uh, all stored like this says tunnel a complex i already went through tunnel c and tunnel b both of those tunnels were ammunition storage sites batteries and they were to store all the munitions for the guns of Sentosa. Now, there's actually another trail called the Guns of Sentosa. I don't know if that's coming out, but that's what it says. It explains how there are 25 pounder howitzer guns that are, there's tons of them. They're littered throughout the island. They're all pointing the wrong way. They're all pointing towards the ocean because they thought the Japanese were gonna come through the Navy which would be a, an ocean invasion. Whereas the army like successfully confused the British and within seven weeks came through the Malayan forest and were able to attack Singapore from the north. So all the guns were actually facing the wrong way. And on December 9th, I believe it was, December 8th for us, they started the famous attacks here in Singapore I call them famous attacks here in Singapore. I don't know what the, the attack was actually called. I think it should have been called the left behind attack or something like that. There was a there was a cute sign. This island of Sentosa used to be called the man that is left behind or something along those lines. And because of that, it just feels very lonely. And uh, they did change it to Sentosa 
which is a much nicer name. I'll have to look it up. I can't recall what it is. But the thing is, was this was supposed to be the first place that was attacked after they got um, into the battle. It ended up being the last part that was attacked, technically. There was a bomb run, like I said, which is famous over in the U.S. Because it was, oh, did I say December 9th for us? It was December 7th for us. Pearl Harbor. So they attacked multiple places. The Japanese attacked multiple places at the same time. And this was one of those places that was attacked. But all the heritage stuff that they have going on, all the like, they have the mannequins that are dressed up in the way that they would be during World War II. They showed the defenders that were here on the island, how they were dressed, and the fact that most of them were volunteers. Most of them, this was their National Guard, so to say. They were called up, and typically they would be a clerk at a store or a, a bellboy at a hotel, but it was one of those things where it was really interesting to learn about what the, the lifestyle was for them prior to being taken over. And then once they were taken over, there's other areas that showed the prisoner of war because they captured a bunch of British, like the British really were caught with their pants down, unfortunately. The Japanese attacked with 35,000 troops-ish and the Brits had over 80,000 troops now. I don't know if they're actually like an expeditionary force or a professional army, but they still had over twice the amount of troops that attacked them. And it was just the overconfidence of the commanders, in my opinion, that they're like, oh, the, they're never gonna attack from the north. They'll only attack from the south. When they actually saw that Japan was making their way through the north quite quickly. They've had all these little video deals that have been really informative. It was really cool. They also have had a lot of these like cartoons that were drawn to show like how the Brits were treated in their, when they were imprisoned. Oh, it started up, okay, so it does work. Anyhow, I'll check back in a moment here. I've just been enjoying going through all these places. They've, it's been so informational and it's kind of nice to see what the, uh, the take from another place is on World War II rather than just getting the, uh, the American take on it. So, back in a second. All right, we are in the Flower Dome. After a very, very quick run through of this place, I think we spent like maybe 20 minutes here. About 25, half an hour. Maybe, okay. It's, it was $20 to get in, so a dollar a minute. Yeah. It's a... Uh, Mom was very unimpressed with this place, but after we went to the museum in Sentosa, we then split up. Mom went to Orchard Street or Road or whatever it is to do some shopping. And Lynn and I went to go ride the luges. And the, uh, the luges were amazing and Lynn loved it as much as I did. And I'm totally happy that she did as well. It was uh, one of those, I mean, yeah, okay, so I messed up because you needed to keep your helmet in order to get your photo because it, like, your photo was attached to your helmet somehow, but I wanted to go fly the drone, which I got some great shots of Sentosa Beach, and it was a bunch of fun. Um, people are always gathering around in these parts, like, Oh, you got a drone. That's amazing. Could I see it? And blah, 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 blah. It's a conversation starter. But we were uh, flying it around a little bit and we turned in our helmets. Because me thinking, you just need a helmet in order to get your pictures. You actually need the helmet you're wearing while you're riding in order to get the, uh, the, the photos. So, live and learn. We then came down to the Bayfront area to debate whether we should go to the Garden Dome or the Sky Tree Observatory. Now the trees to go underneath is free, but in order to actually uh, go up to the top, it's $12. 
So we, oh, I'm getting a phone call. I'll check back in in a moment. All right, so we are back together. We are now outside of the dome, right by Shake Shack of all places. What a, what a great spot. We're gonna go see the light show underneath the uh, trees over there. Boom. And, oh, it looks like it started. So we'll get a good view. There's no payment to get inside there. Like I said, we came here right after where we were at Sentosa. So, quick, what, bus ride over. I think it took about 15, 20 minutes. No, half an hour. Took half an hour. There is a huge line going on. I have no idea what's going on here. But we're just trying to get over to the light show. Oh, it is totally starting right now. Okay. Just gonna walk. Wow, it is crazy go nuts here. I think this is the most people I've seen in uh, this, yeah, this is Singapore. To get in, it seems. Right here. It looks like yeah to, to get inside. To All right, well we're gonna have to try to figure this out. Yeah, this is a crazy long line, so we gotta go that way. Anyhow, we'll check back in in a moment. This is nuts. All right, and a welcome back. I am currently standing at the pool of my hotel and obviously it's the next day I've uh, forgot to film kind of a finishing thought for last night's video so after that craziness at the uh, super tree grove I believe that's what it's called we were able to get out of there like I don't even know if we discussed it but we did get some food we got some Taiwanese rice or noodle bowls and they're really good. And then mom also got a uh, pork satay type deal from Thailand. And that was also really good. But we were all dying of thirst. It was super hot. The electricity kept going in and out. It's kind of funny because the vendors were complaining. They're like, we paid for electricity and rent and they're not providing. Like it just kept going out and they couldn't cook food. So mom was getting annoyed because she wanted to eat, but it just wasn't happening. Anyhow. That was kind of the last straw for mom. And we stayed for the light show, which, I mean, in all honesty, it was mediocre. Like, with everything going on with like K pop and J pop, they could have done a much better job at synchronizing and making the music actually like match the lights. It wasn't that it was absolutely horrible, it just. After watching how people could do a much better job at syncing things and actually putting a performance to, to music and lights, it just wasn't impressive. Also, it was only three and a half minutes long, maybe maybe a little bit longer, four minutes, if I want to be like generous. I don't know, it was just, you know, I, and I don't know if it was a Chinese New Year's special because the whole bottom part of the Super Tree Groves was uh, a haopao, uh, celebration or a New Year's celebration and they had all sorts of things for kids games uh, little Ferris wheel uh, all the food concession stands but like I said the electricity kept going out and none of it was working so it went from million dollar feeling Singapore to all of a sudden like maybe I'm in a rural part of China that ha you know they haven't gotten their stuff together yet and that's, that was like a huge difference. It, it doesn't deter me from wanting to come back. The thing that just gets me is that it is a, a ultra funny thing that I was staying at like a multi-million dollar hotel across the street. And then I was at a fair, like a street fair type thing that couldn't keep its lights on. So like I said, that was mom's final straw she decided that, hey, let's go ahead and leave. And as we were leaving, there was a Shake Shack. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it was my birthday. So we were originally supposed to try to do something for dinner, but that just didn't pan out. We went to Shake Shack, which was actually closed. Lynn, luckily, was the last customer to order food at Shake Shack. So I guess that was my birthday gift. 
Um, we got a burger, like a barbecue burger with fried onions on it. The fries that they're kind of well known for, I feel like I like their fries. And then we, she got a coconut shake, which is really amazing. Like that was probably like the birthday cake for the day. And then uh, we just came on home to the hotel. And so that's where we're at now. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here and uh, we'll get started on the next one shortly. All right, till the next vid.
Horizons is brought to you by River Hong Kong, and we hope that you have enjoyed the show. Thank you, and have a pleasant evening. 感谢您观赏由春道河畔所。